Welcome to our lecture online. Here we have another one of those videos, Can You Believe It? And in one of the lectures that I was uh, giving in one of my classes, we talked about the speed at which electrons travel through a wire. And the results of that calculation is actually quite astounding. The belief is that when we plug something in or we flip a switch, that the electrons just zip along the wire really quick because almost instantly the light will turn on or the device will turn on that we have just plugged in or that we just threw the switch for. But it's not actually that way. So let's assume that we have a copper wire, 12 gauge copper wire that has a radius of about one millimeter. And uh, let's say that we have a current of two amps going along that wire from the outlet to the lamp. Be quite a lamp because normally you don't need two amps, but that's okay, that's besides the point. And so we have this equation that tells us that the drift velocity, and they do call it drift velocity, it's equal to the current to the wire divided by the charge per electron times the number of electrons per cubic meter times the cross-sectional area of the wire through which it travels. And then over here we have a few things here. It turns out that for each copper atom, there's one electron that is free to jump from atom to atom. So per cubic meter of copper, that means there's this many of electrons available to travel down the wire. The charge for each electron is the basic charge of an electron. And then the cross-sectional area is pi r squared, that would be for the, the wire. And when we put it all together, we'll put the numbers in here, it turns out that the speed at which the, the, the um, electrons travel through the wire is only about 4.44 times 10 to the minus 5 meters per second. That is less than a millimeter per second. Matter of fact, a small fraction of a millimeter. If we then turn that around and we say, well, how long does it take for the electrons to travel like one foot, which is about 30 centimeters, it turns out it would take almost 7,000 seconds, which is almost two hours. So electrons travel so slow that it would take them almost two hours to travel one foot along the wire. Well then, how is it that when you plug in a device that immediately it turns on? Well, it turns out it's kind of like water in a hose. Let's say the hose is filled with water and you add one more drop on one side, one drop will come off on the other side. So when one electron enters the wire from the outlet, one electron will go through the, the light bulb almost instantaneously. And so it seems like they travel really fast, but it's essentially all the electrons moving up just a little bit pushing the few that are already there through the light bulb and so forth. And it's very, very slow. Now, in most cases, we deal with AC current, alternating current that moves back and forth. So I have alternating current moving or vibrating at 60 hertz per second. That means it goes back and forth, changes direction 120 times per second. In each direction, before it turns back and goes the other direction, electrons will travel less than a micrometer, less than a half a micrometer. And a micrometer is one one thousand of a millimeter. So the electrons barely move distance-wise, and yet it powers everything. So it's kind of interesting how that slight maneuver vibration back and forth 120 times per second as it changes direction, that tiny amount of movement is plentiful to power all the electrical devices that we have and turn all the lights that we have when we have AC current. So there you go. Electrons don't travel that fast, not nearly as fast as we thought. And that is how it's done.